Hi and welcome to Dr. O'Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, we're going to be looking at adenosine deaminase. And we're going to be discussing four main things. First of all, what is adenosine deaminase? Next, why is the test used? How is the test carried out? And finally, how do you interpret the test? So first of all, what is adenosine deaminase? Well, adenosine deaminase, also known as ADA, is a protein that is produced by cells throughout the body, and it's associated with the activation of lymphocytes, which are a type of white blood cell playing a role in the immune system response to infections. Conditions that trigger the immune system, such as an infection by mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is the bacteria that causes TB, may cause increased amounts of ADA to be produced in areas where the bacteria is present such as the lungs. Well, for the reasons already discussed, the test is most commonly used to measure the amount of adenosine deaminase present in pleural fluid in order to help diagnose a tuberculosis infection of the pleura. Pleura are the membranes that cover the chest cavity and the outside of each lung. Small amounts of pleural fluid are continuously produced to lubricate the movement of the lungs against the membranes. A variety of conditions and diseases, including infection, can cause inflammation of the pleura and can lead to excessive pleural fluid accumulation. Tuberculosis occurs most commonly in the lungs and it can spread to the pleura, causing symptoms such as chest pain, chronic cough and shortness of breath. Since these symptoms may also be seen in a variety of other conditions, it's important to determine the cause as rapidly as possible in order to properly treat the affected person. The ADA test is not as accurate as a culture for diagnosing TB, however the results will be available much quicker so it can be used as an additional test to help determine whether tuberculosis is the likely source of a person's symptoms. So how is the test carried out? Well, for the ADA test, most commonly a sample of pleural fluid is collected by a doctor with a syringe and needle using a procedure called a thoracocentesis. Well, if the person has high ADA in the pleural fluid and they have clinical signs and symptoms of TB, that it's likely they have a TB infection in the pleura. The suspicion of this should be higher where the patient is in a geographic region which has higher rates of TB. If the clinical suspicion of TB is low but the ADA is mildly or moderately raised, this could be because of other issues such as cancers causing lymphoma or SLE. It's important to remember that even if the ADA levels are low, this doesn't necessarily rule out TB in another part of the body. I hope you found this useful and if you did, as ever, there's links in the description box to more information and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and until next time, bye.